Now, as a little girl, my grandma used to make eggnog and ginger beer every Christmas time. I used to look forward to going to grandma's house just for eggnog alone. Eggnog and her rice and peas, of course. But today, I'm in the kitchen and I'm attempting to make eggnog for the first time. So, stay tuned. Welcome back to Sinead's World. It's your girl, Sinead. And if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so now. Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so you'll be the first person who gets notified when I post my next video. Today, I'm in the kitchen and I'm making a Christmas favorite, eggnog. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add four cups of milk to our pots. One, two, three, four. So that's four cups of milk. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our heavy cream and we're gonna combine it with the milk. So we're gonna use two cups of heavy cream. One, Next, we are going to take our pots and we are going to put it on the stove on low heat so that it can simmer. While our milk is simmering on the stove, we're going to go ahead and we're going to break our eggs. We're going to go ahead and separate our egg whites from our yolks. And I'm just kind of doing this in my hands. I'm just pretty much letting the egg white run off and put them in two different containers. So we have six eggs and we're gonna go ahead and start the process. Now that we've separated our egg whites from our egg yolks, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add one cup of white sugar to our egg yolks. We are going to add them gradually and we're going to whisk them together so that we can get a pale yellow color. That's the color that we're going for. So um, I've just went ahead and added a little of the sugar, whisking, 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 and then I'm going to go ahead and add the remaining sugar just to try to get a pale, I would say lemon color. ginger powder, some ground ginger. I'm going to add some cinnamon. 
Now guys, if you want to measure this, you can measure this and use one teaspoon of each. But you know, I'm Jamaican. Jamaican hard to measure anything when you're cooking or baking or anything at all. And I'm going to add some vanilla extract. So you're going to gradually mix this and again this is, is on low heat. You don't want to boil your you don't want to boil your milk. It ruins everything and you don't want it to overflow or anything. Right? We are now going to temper our eggs and add our mixture to the egg yolks. So I have my little helper Amari who will be assisting me in adding the milk gradually into the egg yolk because we don't want to cook the eggs and we're killing all the bacteria and everything as we go along. So we're now going to add back our mixture to the pot and we're going to have this cook for about 10 minutes or so. We are now done whisking our egg whites and just look at that consistency. Look at the thickness. Look at it. I really wish you could smell the aromas in the kitchen right now. But this smells really well. Look at that. Ooh. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and we're going to add our milk to our egg whites. And guys, you this is really up to you. you. Some people decide to throw away their egg whites or you can whisk your egg whites together and add them to your eggnog because this really gives your eggnog a rich, creamy flavor and makes it really fluffy, you know? So we're going to go ahead and we are going to whisk everything together and pretty much we are only left to put this in the cooler for about an hour or so and then our eggnog will be ready. Now a lot of people add cognac or rum to their eggnogs and I have two kids in the household so we're not going to add that. Um, this is pretty much up to you, you can decide how you want to flavor your eggnog. Cognac, rum, no rum, no cognac. This is up to you. All right, everyone. So now we are going to pour our eggnog into So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour eggnog into our container and we're going to have it cook for about an hour or so. All right, guys. So we are done making our eggnog. We are going to put it in the freezer for about an hour and then we'll show you the end result. 
and or eggnog is ready everyone we have our end product this is my first time making eggnog i had a blast making this it was delicious um we're gonna pour it in the cup we're gonna add some cinnamon sticks and some cinnamon just for garnish and enjoy Thank you everyone for joining us in Sinead's World. Until next time, bye!